So there was one day I was walking by a drugstore. Then I went in and I was looking through some of the skincare products on their shelf and thinking which other skincare products should I do a review on? And I was walking by one of the more popular sunscreen aisles, which was the Sunplay sunscreen aisle. What sort of new products they actually have? And as I was going through some, some of their more popular products that we have already covered in the past, something caught my eye. There was something, it was a sunscreen which was familiar, but at the same time, slightly different. So what happened was I picked it up and then I was looking at the name of it and it's written there, Sunplay Aqua UV Brightening Moisture Gel. And thinking back, I, 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 I think I have actually done a review on this particular product before, but however, the packaging looks different. So what I did was I just purchased this bottle, brought it home, and then compared to the Sunsplay UV bottle that I already had in the past, which was this one back here. So we place it side by side, and we realize there is a little bit of difference. First, the one that I bought it's written as UV Brightening Moisture Gel. And the one that we covered in the past was UV Whitening Moisture Gel. And I thought probably it's just a play on the name itself. So I did a little bit of research and I found it's actually an updated version of the old sunscreen. So it means that the Brightening Moisture Gel is actually the more updated, the, the better sun, sun protection compared to the whitening one. However, before we continue the video, guys, I would love it if you help me smash the subscribe button because it helps please the YouTube algorithm and then pushes out more skincare educational content to you and people just like you. So click the subscribe button and let's carry on with the video. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor and welcome to Skin Fix, the platform whereby we educate you everything about skin and also give you the latest in skincare updates. So today we'll be talking about the updated sunscreen by Sunplay called UV Brightening Moisture Gel. But first up, let's compare with the previous edition, which is, which is the UV Whitening Moisture Gel. Let's compare what are the similarities and what is the new update for the sunscreen. First up, let's talk about the similarities between both the sunscreen, the brightening moisture gel and the whitening moisture gel. First up, they are both chemical sunscreens. The second similarity is they are both SPF 50. They're both great hydrators for the skin. That means that you do not actually need to apply any moisturizer before applying the sunscreen. Just apply both sunscreen and it can not only moisturize, but as well as protect your skin against UVA and UVB. However, there are some differences between the brightening versus the whitening. So on the packaging itself, you will notice that the main difference is the new brightening sunscreen is PA4+, while the old whitening sunscreen is only PA2+. And if you turn over to the back, you realize that the whitening moisture gel, it's based on a technology called a Solarex 3, while the brightening moisture gel is based on the newer Solarex 5. Now, going through their website, we, we dug a little bit more and we realized what the Solarex means. Solarex means that in Solarex 3, it's anti-aging, anti-UV, and as well as it creates and gives your skin proper hydration. But Sorex 5, the additional two, it's not only is it anti-aging, anti-UV and hydrating, but it's anti-blue light and anti-infrared as well. But we'll talk more about the blue light and the infrared later in the video. Diving deeper, I realized there's actually three major differences between the new brightening moisture gel versus the older whitening moisture gel. The first, the Brightening Moisture Gel contains something called the Brightenil technology. Now, Brightenil is a new technology and a little bit deeper dive inside. It actually is the very first skincare ingredient which is activated by a new layer of your skin called the stratum microbiome. 
Now, back in medical school, we learned that the epidermal layer of your skin consists of five different layers. Now, prior to this, we learned that the top layer is called stratum corneum. However, researchers have shown there's actually another invisible layer on top of the stratum corneum, and this is called the stratum microbiome. Now, this particular layer consists of living bacteria, living fungus, and as well as viruses. Now, in the past, we knew that bacteria, viruses, and fungus actually live on our skin harmoniously. Now, like good neighbors, you know, they help one another, they grow together, and they do not disturb one another. And over time, we realized that this particular layer is actually important for your skin's health and your skin's integrity because the bacteria and the fungus actually secrete certain vitamins and certain enzymes that repairs your skin on a much quicker basis. So Brightonil is a new technology or a new skincare ingredient which takes advantage of this invisible layer called the stratum microbiome and it uses the bacteria to produce certain enzymes to reduce hyperpigmentation on your skin. So what actually is the active ingredient in Brightonil? Well, the name is pretty long. Now the full name is trihydroxybenzoic acid alpha glucoside or in short, THBG. Now, THBG is a water-soluble ingredient and it's highly stable. And when you apply THBG on anything that's not living or doesn't have active bacteria, the ingredient itself has no function at all. But once it comes in contact with the human skin, it actually starts off a chain reaction process. Now, let's not go too deep into the science of THBG. We will keep that for scientific researchers. But do know that THBG, otherwise known as Brightener, has many important uses. Now, these free radicals come from the sun, and when it comes in contact with your skin, it increases the breakdown of your collagen and elastin, making you age prematurely. So Brightener actually captures some of these particular free radicals and prevent premature aging. Brightener also prevents UV-induced DNA damage. So for those who have lighter skin or exposed to too much sunlight, and if you want to reduce the risk of skin cancers or melanomas, Brightonil is actually one of the main ingredients that you want in your sunscreen. But more importantly, it blocks melanin synthesis, even when you're exposed to UV radiation. So what sunscreen does in the past, they either absorb the UV radiation or reflect it, but they do not have any role in preventing pigment formation. However, Brightonil has a, a direct role to prevent formation of hyperpigmentation. So the UV brightening moisture gel not only prevents formation of hyperpigmentation, it also brightens the skin as well using the Brightonil technology. Secondly, it's wudu friendly. Wudu is the Islamic procedure for ritual cleansing of certain parts of your body. Wudu is governed by certain Islamic rules that concerns hygiene. Wudu is generally performed before prayers. And over the past couple of years, there have been controversy regarding whether certain skincare products can be truly removed prior to performing prayers. Now, what Sunplay has done is they made sure that this latest skincare is wudu friendly. That means you can actually clean it off just by using water. However, if you want to be slightly more thorough, then you can actually add in a gentle cleanser to remove all the sunscreen. And rest assured, this particular sunscreen does not contain any alcohol. Hey guys, before we continue, do you know any other wudu friendly skincare or cosmetic? Let us know in the comments below to help your fellow YouTubers. Now, the third major change in this sunscreen is the blue light filter. As we mentioned earlier, the Solarex technology, which is currently known as Solarex 5, and one of the number is actually anti-blue light. Now, what is blue light? Where does it come from? And why is it important to protect your skin against blue light? Now, blue light is part of the visible spectrum. That means you can actually see the light itself. Now, did you know that you're actually exposed to this particular blue light 13 hours a day? Now, the major culprit or the source of this particular blue light comes from the sun. However, if you are working with a screen, example, a handphone, laptop, computer, or even sitting in front of a TV for many, many hours, your skin is actually bombarded with a lot of blue light. And you could also be bombarded with this particular blue light if you have installed certain light or lamps in your home. So what are the damages that blue light can affect on your skin? 
Blue light also consists or contain a lot of free radicals. And the free radicals can go into your skin and disrupt the collagen production. So the collagen production is now reduced in your skin and whatever collagen or elastin that you have in your skin is now weakened and damaged by the free radicals produced by the blue light. And blue light is also one of the major culprits in creating hyperpigmentation. That means increasing the, your risk to formation of benign tumors on your skin, malignant tumors on your skin, or even hyperpigmentation like melasma. So one of the major blue light filters that we can find inside this particular sunscreen is cocoa seed extract. So what does cocoa seed extract actually do for your skin? Cocoa seed extract reduces the cellular activity in the blue light receptors in your skin. It means that when the blue light receptors are not triggered as often, you actually get a lower dose of free radical damage and you get an increase in collagen production and elastin production. Now this particular extract, the cocoa seed extract, contains three main portions. It contains peptides, contains saccharides, and contains antioxidants. So the peptides protect your skin against blue light stress and prevents premature aging. Saccharides are specialized sugar, which will then attract more water into your skin, thus hydrating your skin in a long period of time. And the antioxidants reduces the amount of microinflammation caused by the UV damage and the blue light damage on your skin. Now, the other portion of the Sorex 5 technology is the anti-infrared. Now, infrared generally comes from heat sources, whether it's from lamps, whether it's from the sun, or whether there's anything really hot emitting heat around you. Are you guilty of watching too much YouTube and being exposed to too much blue light? If you are, click the thumbs up so that we know how many of you actually spend a lot of time in front of your screen. So the UV brightening moisture gel contains soybean extract, which is a bioflavonoid, very good antioxidant to prevent or to reduce the amount of infrared damage on your skin. Now first, let's talk about the texture on your skin. Now this is more of a gel form of sunscreen. It means it's actually very easy to apply and it's not sticky, it's not greasy, and it doesn't leave that oily sensation on your skin. Now, one of the issues with very oily sun type of sunscreen is you find it very difficult to actually apply makeup on it after that. Now, as for the smell, it actually has a pretty neutral smell. It's not overpowering like certain sunscreens whereby they add a lot of fragrance, neither does it have that very chemical kind of smell. And when you spread it on your skin, it actually doesn't actually leave any white cast. So for people with darker skin type that, do, that don't like white cast or the particular whitish discoloration of your skin, I think this is a very good sunscreen for you. Next up, this is an SPF 50 with a PA4+. That means it's giving you the maximum protection for your skin, especially in a country as hot as Malaysia or if you're living in a country with a lot of sun exposure. And then last of all, who actually can use this particular sunscreen? Now, if you are suffering from a dry skin, if you're suffering from combination skin or even a normal skin, this is the sunscreen for you. However, everyone's skin reacts differently to skincare products. So I would highly suggest for you to use this, try it out first. And if it really works for you, you can then use it on a daily basis. And the final tip is do not forget to reapply your sunscreen in the afternoons because that's a major no-no. Whatever sunscreen you're using, it generally disappears after four to five hours. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. If you like this particular kind of video whereby we review skincare products, do let us know in the comments below and let us know in the comments what other skincare from Sunplay you would like us to review. Don't forget to click the bell button because we release new videos on a weekly basis. And until next time, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor. And remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and more importantly, stay informed. Are you tired of wasting time and money on your skin, but nothing works? We are here to help. SkinFix is a platform that provides personal care education completely free. SkinFix is run by skin doctors and skincare experts. You can chat and consult with our skin doctors without ever leaving your home. Other than free advice, SkinFix also provides tailor-made solutions for your skin problem with customized medical-grade skincare delivered right to your doorstep. SkinFix, your digital skin doctor.